I see so many agency owners who start and then they get focused on stuff that doesn't even matter. They start spending weeks on their website, weeks picking out their service. They spend days making their Twitter account. They just don't know what they're doing. They're spending their time on the wrong things. The number one thing that matters is outreach. You need to get your website up in like two days, get your VSL up right away, and then start ripping outreach. I've told this to a couple people, but what I notice is that they get really distracted when it comes to outreach. They'll start doing outreach for a little bit. They'll get distracted. They'll stop doing it. They'll come back to it two weeks later or simply they're just not ripping enough volume because they can't focus outreach is one of those things that you need to do but it's so boring especially at the start when there's no money coming in but the number one thing you need to understand is that without outreach you're never going to have any money in at least at the start later on you'll start getting inbound leads but the number one thing you need to focus on right now is outreach since outreach is a pretty boring thing in this video i'm going to explain to you how to stay focused while doing outreach First things first, you need to take a look at your schedule and figure out what's taking up the most of your time. I know some people who spend hours scrolling on TikTok or they're playing Fortnite or Xbox or whatever. You need to cut those things off right away. A lot of people say, oh, I don't have time or they're only doing 15 minutes of outreach a day because they're blaming their schedule. You need to take a look at your schedule and remove everything that shouldn't be there. Some people say, oh, I don't even spend that much time on my phone or they think that there's nothing in their schedule that they can get rid of. You're actually incorrect. So what you need to do for the next 72 hours is time yourself and see what you're doing every step of the day. So get a piece of paper or the notes app on your phone or this website called Clockify. And every time you go eat, write down, okay, what time did I eat? What time did I stop eating? What time did I start outreach? What time did I go on TikTok? You need to keep track of everything for the next 72 hours. What you're gonna notice is that there's so much dead space that's just being wasted. The next step to being able to focus on outreach is to change up your environment. You've probably had that same desk set up in your room for years. You need to switch it up right now. Once you move your room around, it's gonna give you a new perspective. You'll leave those old habits behind of going on your bed and scrolling TikTok for hours because now you're going to see your room as a whole new place. Obviously, it's not going to be as good as if you moved into a new pet house, but it still makes a difference. I moved my desk around and I signed my first client two days after. I know that moving my room around wasn't the reason I signed him, but I just want to bring that up. Okay, so for the third tip, you need to start meditating. This sounds corny as hell, but it actually works. I was meditating around five to 10 minutes a day when I had no clients and it actually made a difference. And you need to sit down and step back, step away from your phone, step away from the computer, step away from school and just clear your mind when you first start doing it it's going to be pretty annoying you're going to start thinking of random stuff but eventually you'll get better and better you just need to focus on your breathing and clear your mind if a thought comes up just acknowledge it and move on meditation will increase your focus by so much you probably won't notice the effects right away but over time there's going to be a huge difference the important part is to stay consistent so step four actually relates to the last thing i just said about staying consistent you need to push through the pain and keep going you're probably going to be doing outreach for days or months you really don't know how long you're going to be doing it for before you land your first client. So many people expect results right away. You need to adopt the mindset that you're probably not going to land your first client right away. And the important part is you have to stay consistent. Most agency owners fail because they do outreach for a week or two and then they give up. That's how you can differentiate yourself and take your agency to the next level. Just keep going. If you do outreach for two or three months straight without giving up, you're already differentiating yourself from 99% of agency owners. Every day you don't do outreach, think of it as if you're putting yourself seven days behind Behind. And then you'll have to do outreach for the next seven days straight in order to make up for that. Outreach is the most boring part of your business, but you need to do it. There's no money in without outreach. So if you want money in, you have to do outreach. I don't like outreach. My friends don't like outreach, but we all send hundreds of cold outreach per day. And that's how we sign clients. Outreach is the number one thing you should be focusing on in your business. So the next thing you need to do is set yourself up the day before for maximum capacity and focus. What I mean by this is that your day actually doesn't start in the morning. It starts the night before. So what you need to do is write down what you're going to do the next day before you go to sleep. I learned this from Luke Belmar and it makes a huge difference. How I set myself up for success for the next week. On Sundays, I write down what I need to do for the next seven days. And then the day before each new day, I write down what I need to do the next day. I know that was a bit confusing, so let me explain. Basically on Saturday nights, I would write down in my notebook what I'm going to be doing the following day. So Sunday. So you're going to have a weekly to-do list and a daily one. This is pretty cliche, but make sure you get a good night's sleep and you don't eat a couple hours before you go to bed. The final tip is that you need to develop consistency in other areas of your life. So if you're not hitting the gym, start hitting the gym. If you're not meditating every day, start doing that. If you're not going for daily walks, start doing that too. And overall, you need to develop a routine. You don't need a corny morning routine, nothing like that. All you need is something simple and repeatable. For example, read 10 pages every day, meditate for five minutes, do four hours of outreach, and hit the gym for an hour. Super simple. You don't need to open your Google calendar and plan every step of the day. Sure, that works, but over time, 
time, you're just going to stop doing it because it's a bunch of work. Trust me, I've been there. So to quickly recap on everything I just said in this video, the first thing you need to do to start focusing on outreach is become conscious of what's taking up your time and eliminate it right away. The next thing is that you need to change up your environment. So either start working in the living room, change up your room setup, move your bed around, just do something. The third tip is that you need to start meditating in order to clear up your mind and be able to focus for longer periods of time. The fourth tip is that you just need to push through and keep going. 99% of agency owners stop after the first week of outreach. So you just need to do it for months. Next, you need to set yourself up for the next day, the night before. So write down a weekly to-do list and a daily one, go to sleep. And then instantly when you wake up, you'll know what to do. So you don't waste time trying to figure out what you need to do. And finally, you need to develop consistency in other areas of your life so that those translate into your business. Overall, after following these steps, I managed to sign my first client in 23 days. Now I scaled all the way up to eight clients in less than 90 days. If you want to learn more about my journey as an agency owner, by the way, I'm just 18. Hit the subscribe button. Leave a dislike if you did like the video. Leave a like if you did. And that's it. Peace out.